Uh, now we will discuss what is the philosophy of community organization. The fundamental aspect of the community organization is the principle of cooperative spirit, which promotes the people to unite together to address a common issue. A uh, community organization recognizes the spirit of democratic values and principles with a focus on uh, creating democratic involvement, uh, which means that all the people should be involved in the process of community organization in a democratic manner. Organizing uh, is about empowering. This is a beautiful statement, which means uh, that uh, when people unite together, they get involved in community organization, they develop confidence, they develop trust in themselves. This empowerment comes when people learn skills to help themselves and the other people of the community. Uh, another underlying philosophy behind the community organization process that community organization being the fundamental basic method of social work recognizes the power of individuals' collectiveness, individuals' togetherness. Community organization believes that through the collective strength of the people, change can be made, the solution of the problems can be sought, and the better teamwork and uh, adoption of scientific methods are only possible with the democratic attitude of the people, uh, with the collective spirit of the people, and the individual's collectiveness is important for the solution of the community problem. Uh, and uh, this collectiveness and this unity and this spirit of coordination of the community people can provide comprehensive solution to the social problems of the community. Another philosophy of community organization is coordination. It is concerned with adjustment and interrelations of the forces in the community life for common welfare. This adjustment is between the people's needs and the resources. This adjustment is about uh, the interrelationships of the community uh, people and this uh, adjustment is about the identifications uh, uh, of the problems on the common basis according to the common interests of the community people. Then community organization also uh, has the philosophy that continuous process uh, in which adjustments are made and remade uh, to keep pace with the changing conditions of community life. Uh, so we can say that uh, the philosophy of community organization involves uh, uh, that uh, community organization is a democratic method which provides the opportunity to all the people of the community to be involved in the uh, process of uh, development in a democratic manner, all the people should have the equal chances uh, to access the opportunities uh, of uh, uh, the life. And uh, uh, another basic philosophy lying behind the process of community organization is uh, the belief in the worth and dignity of the individuals, that all the individuals are dignified and of uh, of worth. Uh, and this is the natural and the birthright of the individuals to be dignified, to be uh, respected by the other people of the community uh, and uh, their uh, opinion about the identification of the problems and their opinion about uh, uh, selecting the course of action for the solution of the problems must be considered, must be valued. Community uh, grow and change for the better, which means uh, uh, that uh, change is uh, an inevitable process within the community and uh, change can't be stopped. So it should be welcomed and uh, uh, communities change for the better uh, 
uh, objectives and uh, for the betterment of the community people. So change uh, should be welcomed positively by the communities. Then uh, there is uh, a need to develop a faith by the community worker that uh, uh, that uh, this is the right of the communities to decide about their destination, to decide about their future course of action. And communities uh, also have the ability to work for their betterment. And um, uh, so this is important for the community organizer to put faith in the capabilities and potentials of the people. And uh, there is also a need to develop this, these feelings of faith and trust among the peoples of the community for themselves. So they can be confident uh, throughout the process of community organization. Then uh, there is a need to, uh, to render uh, a spirit of uh, uh, cooperative activity, to foster the cooperative activities within the community uh, and it is uh, also a significant philosophy of community organization uh, that uh, to to find out the problems of the community uh, to find out the solutions of the community problem uh, their uh, the community relationship must be reasonably cordial uh, in, within the community, all the individuals, although have their own interest, although they have their uh, personal interests, but uh, these personal interests uh, uh, should be sacrificed by the individuals uh, and uh, the, this spirit of coordination should be developed um, among the community individuals to sync their differences in view of the common interest of the community.